In this video, we're going to find slope given two points. And like I said before, uh, you can use this method either given to just two points, or if you're looking at a graph, you can use the two points um, or find two points and then use this method. Um, either one will work. Now, if you're just given two points, this is the method you'll want to use. Uh, otherwise, you're having to hope that you draw very, very well a graph on your own. Um, but again, my suggestion is this formula when given two points. So the slope formula is technically y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, the twos and ones just didn't, you know, indicate the point they came from. So really, all you have to keep in mind is that, notice that our twos came first. So we have to choose from the same, same point for our x and our y. Uh, that this truly is just the difference, which means subtraction, of y's over the difference of x's. So keep in mind, our points are x, always x comma y, right? So I'm going to pull my 4 from my y. Y's are on top. 4 minus 2, so y minus y. And then because I pulled from the 4 first, I'm going to pull the, t the x value from that point first. So I'm going to do 2 minus a negative 3. Notice I still have 2 comma 4 and negative 3 comma 2. Um, they are now vertical instead of being next to each other horizontally. And then from here we just subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus a negative 3 becomes 2 plus 3. This is why you should write down, and plus you have to show your work anyway, this is work. You need to be writing down your uh, setups. Uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. And so the slope between these two points is we rise two and we run five. All right. Oh, that is our only example there. For some reason, I thought we had more. Um, but that that's how it works. If we were to go back to, say, these, like I said before, I can take this point three comma one and the point negative two, negative two, oops, negative two comma negative two, I can do the same thing. 1 minus a negative 2. Oops, no parentheses needed. Don't know why I was adding those. Over 3 minus a negative 2. So y minus y over x minus x. Minus a negative becomes plus a positive. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And notice we end up with the same thing that we had before. So this is me just showing you I can use y minus y over x minus x to find the same answer. Both work. All right. In the next video, we will be talking about, well, what if you're given a table instead of two points? So until then.